What's up, y'all? Day 49. right there. My shotgun, no. Oh, I fucked up big time. Spitter. Gather around, my children.
they're getting through. Oh, I did it again, did it again. I gotta at least get near the front door. I don't care if I die right in here. Second time I fell through there, I need to really fix that. Where is my pump? I need to get some metal to fix this door. Thank you. 
fucked up. I fell down there. I need to make those double. That was the whole plan was to make that double, but uh. oh, I fucked up big time. I am so far away from base. To give you perspective. That's where I'm at. That's my base. I should have picked up that bag. I don't want to keep spawning here. If a mountain lion starts to attack me, <clears throat> first thing I'm doing is dropping this bedroll. The base should be okay. I mean, they were mostly all dead. I gotta get that double roll of, uh... So the plan is get double roll of bars down. That way, uh... That way I can put ladder hatches to throw stuff down, but I also don't keep falling off like I just did. <laughs> Gotta make sure I don't take too big of a fall. get in my base because the fire even if I would they would have probably got in because uh, the hatch is being open I think we survived for another day though all of the, uh, the the cobblestone that's there all that is sacrificial the spikes the cobblestone rather than have to break it all down I figure I will let them do the work. It's going to be bars between that. Two layers of bars in between each pillar. That way I can shoot out, have angles. Those platforms with the squares, those will be ba uh, barred in with a door on the inside. That way I can go in and change the, change the ammo as needed. Oh god, this is um, quite AIDS. But we made it. We didn't live. That's twice now. My last uh, horde happened the same way. But, I mean, I am a noob. So, give me a little, uh, a little break. Yeah, my only experience prior to this 
and anything like this was is Rust. I played Rust for a couple years, and um, always wanted to get into the game. And it finally went on sale, so I bit the bullet. That's gonna break my heart if that bag right there disappears. But this was my first time actually using steel armor, which uh, I'm a believer in. All right, we're almost there. Almost there. Don't break a leg. Almost there. Almost there. Did we get any? We did. That uh wall you see right there. That's a marker I put down for my base. My stamina on here drives me batshit. I may be having a, uh, another guy come play. I mean, he's as new as I am. At this point, he's newer. Um, but learning the mechanics of the game, how, how these damn zombies operate. So if you see my base now, how there's uh, the pillars, there's going to be another set out four blocks away. In between each, there's going to be electric fences and uh, it's going to be electric fences and spike traps all upgraded. Then, as soon as I can get more turrets and everything, then I'll continuously keep adding and evolving the design. But it's going to be two layers high. If you saw that, that one door was that to my upstairs. So there's going to be uh, doors on all four sides to leave out. That's like the citadel. That's the center where everything needs to remain. Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. That was hectic, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my bag fell down into the mine. <laughs> so, in later hordes, it's gonna. Because they're gonna keep going for so long. Perfect. the AK I need about all the bullets I can get so I gotta fill in all of this with uh, dirt oh I gotta get rid of that spike trap with that barbed wire and that one So I had no opportunity to go get um ammo. Well, I tried to, but the progression of the zombies, along with mine, as I level up, they start to level up. So it, it'll be it'll be one layer like that, reinforced concrete. So this corner, I'm glad they did that because I got to knock this corner out. I have all the concrete basically to finish the base. But it'll be that. Then it'll, So each one of these will have one of those. This is going to stick out an additional square. So it has angles down. So this is all sacrificial. So that'll get replaced. I got to go down another layer with the center and then all of it will be just like that so I gotta get that block filled in skip my mind oh, 
Guess you can't make that rush jump. But she still stands. So there's gonna be up here, because this is gonna be the fighting area. You see these bars, they're gonna fill in this entire area. So even if they puncture into the wall, I can still shoot them from down there and they have nowhere to go. Eventually that arm that vault door on the front of the citadel, this right here, that's gonna be replaced. And I'm gonna block it in. And I wanna have a bridge that leads out. I don't even know which direction yet. It's probably gonna come out this way over here. But after another layer, so four more out, so about here, this is going to repeat again with bars in between. So I have layers to fall back into. And then hopefully on this layer out here, there'll be uh, those spinny traps, whatever those are called. And just chop them to shit. But the jumping ones, they, they drive me crazy. I just haven't had the time to, to uh, farm up the the iron in order to to make enough bars and I accidentally upgrade that trying to upgrade the traps but I'm trying to figure out why they like that backside so much like they almost spawn over here I don't know if it's because Trader Joe's is over there or what the deal is but so this corner has to be done because we all know they like to go for corners. And then they're going to all slope down. Each each um, one from this first layer down is going to angle downwards down here. That way they have to take that out first before they can move into that. But all of that will be bars so I can shoot through it. That way I'm less one line of defense right now. That's all I really have. But... We survived to fight another day. And each side is going to have that. That pr protrusion. So it's going to be just like this. But not flagstone. Alright let's take a look. I'm always in a rush come. Uh, horde day. I finally got my, motor, my mini bike, which is beautiful. So this is pretty much a lot of what we got off of uh, those guys. I was trying to put ammo in this, but I couldn't do it fast enough. So this is mine. That's mine, of course. I mean, we didn't get a lot, a, a ton, but oh, that's not even... Here is my... Um, yeah, we didn't get a ton, but say la vie. Scrap that down. Um, so next time I come on, and if you look in this box right here, I have concrete that still needs to be mixed. I have a little bit here. My two forges, my block. I do have a chemistry, but I gotta wait until this is secure. And then up top, there's gonna be another battlement. Somewhere else I can fight from. Um, the generator is for when I start getting those those um, electric fences up. It's just expensive with the with the uh, forged iron. So you got to get one step at a time. This door definitely needs to be changed because, of course, it came that way because this is where I was trying to fight from. So this will be a vault door here. These slots were meant for me to be able to shoot through and fight through. Um, but I don't know. So the next goal is knock down all of these pillars except for that bottom one. That first one will be uh, concrete, but then above that will be bars. So I can fight from inside and shoot out and run around on the inside and fight them. And then this will be uh, in between. You'll have a hatch. So a hatch here, a hatch there. Just alternating. And I put two columns right here because uh, I didn't want one to get later, later hordes. I didn't want them to just be able to take one pillar down and start making everything tumble. I've already had that happen once, so. But that thing was invaluable. 
All right, so I think we'll call it here. And uh, hopefully to see you next time. Take it easy. Bye.